previously on Warrior Challenge. These five civilians started the adventure of a lifetime as they were thrust into becoming National Guard soldiers. Put him on his back. I want flutter kicks. So you think you just make up your own rules as you go along, right? They were paired up with a National Guardsman. And all five teams had to compete against each other in sniper repel. One shot, one kill. As they struggled to hit their targets and repel down a 50-foot wall. Woo! In the end, Christian of the blue team was sent home. Team blue finished with the slowest time. And tonight, the ultimate challenge continues as these four civilians will be put through a gauntlet of challenges to test their endurance, their strength, and their aptitude. The winner will receive an all-access pit pass to hang out with Dale Earnhardt Jr. and the title of Ultimate Warrior of the National Guard. And they call me warrior! They call me loyalty! to know that we were still in the competition. It was extremely okay, thanks. painful. Okay, thanks. On a scale of 1 to 10, how about That one? The back of your heel. The back of this heel is probably like a 7. Wow. Yesterday, one of our civilian contestants had a pair of boots that weren't quite the right size. So between yesterday and today, she had formed some pretty good sized blisters on the back of her heels. It's brand new boots. You got to put brand new boots on. They're going to mess up your feet. So you got to break them in. Break them in. It could potentially put her at a disadvantage, and we'll see how she does. Really, it's going to be her ability to overcome that pain if she's feeling it. I'm going to hop up in there, and then we're ready for somebody to close us up. Nicely done, Final you guys. Four. Congratulations. Four. Well, yesterday we were going from one challenge to another, and we didn't have enough time to actually go to the chow hall, so we got stuck with the meals ready to eat. So tailored operational training meals used to be called meals ready to eat. I think that's probably going to be the scariest thing I'll do while I'm here. I'm not going to lie. All right, these were designed for soldiers in the field. It's about 2,500 to 3,500 calories inside of one of these bags. I understand it must be so nice to have hot meal while you're out fighting, and um, I think it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. But ma'am, you're a vegetarian, I understand. It was a little freaky. I'm, I'm mostly a very strict vegetarian, uncooked food. Okay, I think we probably have a few of them in here that we can get you guys squared away. One of my personal favorites, chili mac. Who's up for the chili mac? Over here. All right, staff sergeant. Hook. Nicely done. I thought they were gonna be really nasty, but they're actually pretty good. They get really hot very quickly. So when you open them up and you add the water to heat it up, make sure that you put it back into the box very quickly. It's in a cardboard box, like a big candy bar. And I thought this was gonna be terrible. You open it up, you put it into a bag, you pour the water in it and some chemical reaction heats it up really fast. And then you open it and it was actually really good. I enjoyed it better than I could ever make. And I feel like I ate a rock or a boulder. It was very heavy on my heart and my stomach to eat that. You know what I miss? The dehydrated fruit. Excellent. Beverage base powder lemon lime. You know, that's you know pretty much going to be you know kind of in, in line with what it would actually be like if I were you know signed up for the National Guard. Mm. <laughs> Good stuff. We were starving and it all, it all worked out, so we got to eat, so we were pretty excited. No worries. Now with full bellies, the final four head off to their third challenge and the last oh. event of day two. Fall out and fall in line. 
Warriors, welcome to the location of your next challenge. We'll once again be testing your accuracy and your skills with the firearm. We'll also be testing your ability to take the offensive and eliminate the enemy. Of course, in this competition, there is only one winning team. So we're about to find out which team is going to have to go home. Warriors, welcome to your third challenge, the firing range. In your last challenge, you fired with a sighted weapon. Well, guess what? We're about to take it to another level. Things are going to be faster and harder, and I hope you guys are ready. Each teammate will go one at a time, with the civilian going first and the guardsman going second. Now, you'll start by loading your weapon's magazine. The guardsman can help verbally, but cannot touch the weapon. So once it's loaded, you will have 40 rounds of ammo to hit 37 targets. Once you hit a target, you can move on to the next one, and you score a point. Now your turn is over when you have either run out of ammo or you've hit all the targets. And the team with the most points wins. So Warriors, get ready to lock and load. Red team, approach the firing line. Lock and load, one 15 round magazine. Up first is civilian Sasha. And right out of the gate, she seems unable to control the kick from that 9mm. There was a lot of thinking going on during this. The other ones, the last one was, you know, just a burst of energy and this was just like... Breathe, calm, think. It's just uh, getting used to it, you know, like getting used to the kick, to the power. I, I learned later, somebody, you know, said that I, I let it kick a little bit too much, but uh, it was fun. Sasha shows steady improvement, but still is having trouble with that kickback. All right, hold on safe. Up next is Captain McCollum. As she completes her last magazine, the red team has a respectable 45 hits on the board. Great team, approach the firing line. Oh, Great team is next, magazine. with civilian Brandon shooting first. An anxious start leads his teammate, First Lieutenant Stratus, to deliver some profound advice. Just breathe. I think I was holding my breath for a little bit on the range. So Lieutenant, once again, as always, got me through it and uh, told me to start breathing. I, I got into a little rhythm, so it definitely helped. So hopefully it paid off in the end. The advice pays off, and he finishes strong. Drop the magazine. First Lieutenant Stratus is next. He demonstrates command and proficiency right from the start. he completes his round with ammo to spare, leaving great team with 57 hits and a commanding lead. We basically don't know anything, so yeah. I guess the unknown is the theme of this whole show. Black team, approach the firing line. Next is civilian Dan. This is, a, this is my first time ever doing this. My partner was helping me a whole lot. She was really helping me relax and keep my breath under control. With a fast start, he keeps pace with great team, racking up hits on the closer targets. My partner was telling me, you know, just breathe, relax, don't really think of it as, you know, this powerful, powerful weapon. Just, just relax. All right, take it eight. Staff Sergeant Milby is next for the black team, picking up right where Dan left off. She closes her round with a flurry of hits, making sure black team stays above water with 55 hits. I wanted to count, but I just couldn't count, so I, I don't even know how we did, and that goes double for how the other teams did. Fire team, approach the range. Bringing up the rear is yellow team, who needs at least 46 hits to remain in the competition. Civilian Ken is first to the firing line. Rushing his shots, he burns through his ammo with very little to show for it. When you get out there, you know, it's just like you're in a dream. Tunnel vision, and uh, you know, you think you're gonna get up there and, and be, you know, some movie star, some maverick. Then you gotta do it, so. 
Settling in, he finds a rhythm and starts making some contact. There was, you know, a hundred emotions, you know, pumping through my body. Um, you know, my, my blood's going, you know, my mind's going. Uh, I might have, you know, saw the end of my life a couple times. <laughs> he finishes his round by hitting four out of the last five. but runs out of ammo. It's up to Staff Sergeant Espinel to keep Yellow Team in the competition. For showing is strong, but will it be strong enough? Well, Warriors, you completed your third challenge. I have to say, it was awfully intense watching all of that. I mean, you guys were doing fantastic. Ken, I got to see you up close. You seem so focused. I mean, what, what was on your mind at that point? Uh, I, I felt like I had tunnel vision. Um, I was just in the zone, and uh, it felt like a dream. Well, you seem to be getting a lot of aggression out at the same time. So that's all. Actually, all of you were doing that. So I'm going to have to have my hand at it, too, I think. Gray team, you had 57 hits coming in first. So congratulations. So, very close with 55 hits was the black team. Congratulations, guys. That leaves us with the red and yellow team. You guys did a fantastic job, but unfortunately, one of you will have to go home today. Red team, you finished with 45 hits. Congratulations, how do you guys feel about your performance? <laughs> Speechless. Uh, no, being at the bottom too, I guess, not very good. Yellow team, you finished with 33 hits. I'm sorry. You're a great warrior, but you're not the ultimate warrior. Please say goodbye to your guardsmen. At this point, uh, yeah, I've had a really great experience. I'm not sure, you know, what the future holds. You can never say. Uh, but what I've taken away is a lot of discipline. Nice job, guys. Certainly waking up around 5.30 a.m. If I could take that home, I'm sure I'll be a better person. The National Guard, certainly a, a great group of heroes, uh, demonstrating so much leadership and courage and duty, respect, um, especially after being through a lot that they've already, uh, you know, been through on a daily basis. You guys have all done a fantastic job today. And now it's down to the three teams. So I hope you're ready, get some rest, relax a little bit because tomorrow things are only gonna get harder. Hope you guys are ready. So you can head on back to the barracks now. Next time on Warrior Challenge. It's down to the final three. Grab it again, do you understand? as the Warriors will face their toughest challenge yet, left alone in the middle of nowhere. Next time on Warrior Challenge. <laughs>